Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Elijah Green 14 with 1,226 rating versus Kilio Ease with 1,577 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and we will see Ease when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Black Witch, Flame Burge, Engage, Bonfire, Snake Eye, Ash, they have Flame Burge, Arvata, Nib, Oak, and Wanted. Okay, so we have the, you know, Sky Striker, build of Snake Eye, you know, a few Striker cards in it. Probably doesn't play Hand Traps. Uh, and then we have the Fire King build. So they're going to start off by Activate Wanted, go search out Black Witch, and then go Main Phase, Normal Arvata, and then Special Black Witch by sending Oak, Effect, go set Original, Original Send, bring out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash Effect, go search out Poplar, and then Poplar effect, summon itself out. Poplar effect to go search. Um, You know, we actually didn't have to do it this way, right? Maybe we should have gone for Ponyx. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should have gone for Ponyx in the Sanctuary in the Island. Link off Ponyx in the Link Karibo. Island destroy Flame Burge. Go search Garunix. Flame Burge can summon back out. Oak, Ponyx, and then, well, I guess, you know, something back out, Ponyx really isn't that great, but I guess it's going to happen anyways, and then you still have Oak, Sun itself, plus Sanctuary, four Snake Eye Ash, in the Poplar, I don't know, maybe, is, is that worth it? I feel like that's got to be better than what this is going to be ending on here, it's like a weird combo line though, it's definitely not like a normal combo line. Oh, uh, they're gonna go Snake Eye Ash, send, bring out Flame Burge from hand, and then go up in the IP, and then activate Flame Burge, Poplar, Spell Trap Zone Oak, bring out Poplar and Ash, and then make Princess, Princess Effect, bring out Flame Burge, Flame Burge on the IP, okay, and then Wanted, put back Original, draw on the Wanted, and then Link Off to go ahead and make Whale, and then whale into world C, world C effect to move itself, and then set wanted. Hello, Future Grinder here. And I just wanted to run through this play real quick. So this was the end board that they ended on because they originally summoned out Snake Eye Ash. And I wanted to go ahead and what you could do, maybe if you bring out Fire King Ponix instead. So, instead, we could go for Ponix. And this is combo one, I have another combo two. Um, they go ahead and they search out Sanctuary, and then activate Sanctuary, go for Island, link off in the Link Karibo, Island destroy Flame Burge, bring out Garunix, and then you're going to get Garunix Flame Burge. So I'm back out too from the graveyard. Also here, I Garunix destroy Kieran because I wasn't sure if I was going to go for a Sunlight Wolf play or not, um, but you don't have to do that there because I do not go for it in this combo. And then I send, bring out Snake Eye Ash, go bring out Poplar to search out Divine Temple. You could have also wanted Drew first to go search Original instead if you want. And then now we link off, make IP. You also don't have to spell Travis on Poplar, doesn't come up. Uh, then go up into the Princess, bring out Flame Burge, Flame Burge, bring out IP. And then go for Hida, and then Hida plus Garunix in the Selene, and then Selene up into Appalooza. So this is pretty much the same combo that they had gone for, that, you know, Arvata, Flame Burge, Summon IP, except I have a Appalooza instead of World Sea. They have a Whale in Graveyard, but I also have a Garunix in Graveyard. Um, so I think this combo is better. Um, we also have, like, the free search in hand, too, to help in case the board gets broke. And now the other combo, uh, we go ahead and, you know, same same thing, Link Karibo, Sanctuary Island, destroy Flame Burge, go Garunix, and then go ahead, Flame Burge, summon back out from the graveyard, Garunix, go dump a Kieran, which does come up this time, because this time I was trying to go for a Snake Eye or a Sunlight Wolf combo instead. Uh, Snake Eye, Ash in the Poplar, grab Divine Temple, and then we'll go ahead, Link off up into the Princess, and then Princess summon out Oak bring out Ash, and then Link off up into the Sunlight Wolf there, and now Tribute Snake Eye Ash for Link Karibo, grab back the Kirin, and then we can make the Heat Soul, Heat Soul pay a thousand, go draw one, and then Link off into the IP, and then Wanted, go ahead and draw one by putting back, so I don't think this combo is as good. 
I think it's I think it's close. I think it's close to how the combo is supposed to be done. I don't think either way that I did it was correct, and I do think there's a little bit of a better way to do it. Also, technically, if you start your turn by discarding rock instead, you will have an extra body throughout your combo, but that's not a real game scenario. Like, if you're, obviously, you're going to keep rock in hand when you're doing this combo. Um, you're not going to black witch discard it. So that way you can keep the oak in hand. Um, but yeah, I do think this combo... I do I do think you can do the combo a little bit better. Also, I think this combo is better than the other combo that I just did. Um, but let me know if you can comment and find a even better combo. And yeah, alright, back to the present grinder. <laughs> Pass. Alright, so they draw into a thrust. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, I have been seeing the no hand trap build just absolutely cook through end boards, uh, but I, I am fairly certain they could have ended on a better end board here if they just went through the Fire King stuff. Um, but now they're gonna go draw phase, flame burge, summon out IP, normal summon snake eye ash, effect, go grab poplar, poplar effect to summon itself out, they chain Arvata to shut that down, flame burge effect, summon out snake eye ash and poplar. And then activate the effects there. So go search out the Snake Eye Ash and original that we put back off Wanted. Okay. And now Bonfire. Go search for Snake Eye Ash. Uh, link off Snake Eye Ash up into an Anima. And then Anima effect to force out the IP Mascarena there. Uh, the Chain IP effect, of course. And then that's going to make a 24 attack Appalooza. Poplar effects while traps on itself. Activate thrust. Go search talents. And you know, talents on Apo uh, is rough. Actually, do they even start with that though? Uh, I mean, they do have engage. I feel like you kind of want to leave the Apo in the main monster zone. Okay, we don't. We just go talents, take the Apo, and then make Nightmare Phoenix. Effect, you know, force the back row, the chain wanted, add back Black Witch, and then we just go activate engage, okay, so we don't spell in trap zone either with that. Uh, go grab out Hornet drones, and then draw Snake Eye Ash. It's so unfortunate uh, that we drew that. And then Hornet drones, yeah, bring out Token, and then now we're gonna go get rid of Flame Birds, summon out Black Witch. Yeah, it's not like we can make Kagari there or anything. Uh, now we're gonna go. Uh, okay, we're gonna go set a subversion from the deck and then special summon back out snake eye ash and poplar and then poplar effect to go search for the original Okay, uh, now link off into a Hida and then Hmm Because the opponent Does still have a few interruptions here, but they also have rock in hand So now we're gonna go ahead and make Kagari Kagari effect add back Engage, okay. And then Hita effect to go take Princess. They said, sure, that's fine. Uh, now Subversion onto Princess, which will put it into the spell and trap zone. Yeah. Uh, said Engage, Ash, uh, Original Sinful Spoils, right? They said, sounds right. Yep. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and drop Rock there. Pass over the token to the opponent. And then new chain link, poplar, spell trap zone itself, original, send poplar, bring out oak, and then oak effect. Uh, they're going to chain divine temple to summon out their own oak, which will, you know, make princess live now. And then they bring out snake eye ash. They bring out snake eye ash. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and make a lina. Also, wait. Uh, make a lina? That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Making a line of there is wild. Uh, but I guess, you know, we play, you know, Thrust, Talents, play Striker stuff. So we play a little bit of a different extra deck. I highly doubt we play Jet Synchron if this is how uh, we're playing this. Make Selene, Effect Gain Counters, and then Effect to Lose Counters, Summon Back Out Black Witch. Uh, wait, okay, um, I guess we just on that princess to pop Celine, and then engage won't work because they have a monster in the main monster zone, 
So they're gonna go Princess, Pop, Celine. Ah, uh, they said these decks are too powerful. What? Man's 15 trying to use Princess as a quick effect. I'm confused. What? Yeah, yeah. I mean, effect, target, Celine on black, which summon. But, okay. And then, they said, we need a list so bad. These decks are too powerful. These decks are too powerful. Oh, well, we got Harpy's Feather Duster, Lightning Storm, Cosmic, Snake Eye Ash, Mind Control, and we chose to go second. Which, I kind of like that. I kind of like that, because when you go second, you get to, you know, abuse the charmers and stuff like that more. But also, you know, if your opponent just opens up, like, a singular snake eye ass, then they get the full combo. And if they're playing, like, Peer, well, you know, what happens if they get to, like, Savage Baron and all that? Then, you know, then you gotta push through all that, which is still definitely possible. Um, they got Snake Eye Ash, Kieran, Imperm, Moonlit, Wanted... Okay, so they can full combo here, and they know their opponent's not really playing a hand trap build. So Snake Eye Ash, Poplar, Divine Temple, Link Off, and the Link Karibo, Poplar, Spell Traps on itself, Wanted, go grab out Black Witch, Divine Temple, bring out Oak, Snake Eye Ash on itself, plus Oak, bring out Flame Burge, get rid of Divine Temple, summon out Black Witch. Okay, that's gonna go set original, original, send Poplar, bring out Ponix, Ponix effect, go grab out Island, activate Island, you know, probably set it at Sanctuary, they thought they were going second. Uh, okay, we're gonna Island, Pop, Ponix, Garunix, dump Arvata, Arvata, summon back out, Ponix, and then go up into a IP. And then make Princess, Princess, bring out the Arvata, Flame Burge on the IP, Whale, World Sea, Effect to Move. Um, okay, I mean, I guess we don't go for Apo because of how their deck is built, which is fair. Yeah, we have Wanted Draw still too. So, put back, draw Imperm, good draw, set, well, actually, not really a good draw, horrible draw, worst draw on your deck, draw Black Witch, because there's going to Lightning Storm, well, not Lightning Storm, but Harpy's the back row here, and then that's going to actually just wipe everything, because now Island's going to activate, wipe, and then Flame Burge, Arvata, so summon back out, Ponix, Oak, Snake Eye Ash, and then Snake Eye Ash, Oak, Summon Out Poplar, Go Search Ash, Poplar, Go Search Original. Yeah, but like, that took away so much. Just one Harpies. Normal Summon Out Snake Eye Ash, Effect, Go Grab Out Poplar, Poplar Summon Out, Poplar Effect to Go Search, They're Gonna Princess onto the Snake Eye Ash and the Ponix. And then doesn't activate Garunix. Okay, so now they make Anima. Poplar spell traps on itself. Anima go take. Original send. Bring out Oak and a new chain link. Oak, Poplar. Uh, they're also going to Moonlit the Oak. Sure. Um, then they're going to go Kieran, destroy Princess. So now they can get Garunix. They can get Whale. Uh, so they can go ahead and try to wipe some of these out. They just forgot their uh, Poplar Spell Trap Zone, by the way. Uh, so Whale go pop Anima, and then summon Garunix. Garunix effect, go destroy Kieran off the field. Kieran effect, summon out Arvata, pop Oak. Alright, Mind Control, take the Arvata, summon Black Witch, send Poplar. Black Witch effect, go set Subversion. And then link those off now to make Hida. Okay, and then Hida effect go take. And then, yeah, take Princess. And then Princess effect, summon out Oak. And then Oak effect, send itself plus Princess. Bring out Flame Burge. Okay, uh, Flame Burge to target Link Karibo to spell trap zone it. They're going to chain it to summon itself out. And then go up in the Princess, sure. Uh, Flame Bird summon back out two from the graveyard, 
And now I'll make Raging Phoenix, World C, World C, Banish, Bring Back, Princess, Pop, you know, Raging Phoenix. It's just game. Yep. Uh, summon back out, Battle Phase, Pop 2, our Subversion on the Link Karibo. So now we don't even have to Pop 2. We can wait. Yeah, until maybe they summon out like Abyss Deal or something. I don't know. Actually, I don't remember if we knew everything in hand. Uh, but going on to the next game now. Actually, I think we do know everything in hand. We got Mind Control, Cosmic, Black Witch, Oak, Snake Eye, Ash. They have Imperm, Valor, Ash Blossom, Droll, Grunix. Nice. So, pass turn. They draw Black Witch. Normal summon out Snake Eye, Ash. Effect, they Imperm it. So, they're just trying to double hand trap them here to stop them. They don't want to Droll them. Uh, summon Black Witch, discard Black Witch, effect, okay, so the original, and then when they activate original, they will Ash Blossom it, so they make Link Karibo, original, Sun Link Karibo, Ash, uh, Battle Phase, attack, set Cosmic, pass, they draw Rock, okay, pass, they draw Subversion, normal summon Oak, effect, they can't Valor because they just chain Link Karibo, so bring out Snake Eye Ash, effect grab Poplar, Poplar hand effect 1, draw 2. Now Link Karibo, tribute Poplar, summon out, Poplar spell Trap Zone, Ash in itself plus Poplar. Bring out Flame Burge and then Makita. So I mean they can get hit with Rock at any time. Uh, but you know if they get hit with Rock right now, Flame Burge summons back out. So they're going to go Hita go take and then make Selene, Selene effect gain counters. Uh, but not enough to uh, to do anything, just gain one counter. Then we make access code, access code effect, gain attack. Uh, then they're going to Valor the access code. Okay, yeah, I mean, if you drop Rock, you guaranteed lose there. So you drop Valor, force them to keep going uh, if they want to go for game. Because they are a little bit off here. They're at 55. So they're going to make Dark Charmer. So I think I won't question mark. Okay, so Flame Bird summon back out from the graveyard now. And now they get hit with a rock. Uh, which is actually fine, right? Because we play Lina. Wait. Yeah, that's just game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lina, take, princess, summon back out. Flame Bird, battle phase game. Yup, yup, yup. Do that. Battle phase game. Okay, GG, GG. Wow, so we saw Lina come up multiple times. It's like, I'm not going to lie. I've, I've been seeing this build absolutely bully the other builds. Now, this is also a little bit like not completely fair because we are going up against the Fire King build. And they also completely bricked Game 3, which was horrible for them. But, uh, like, you know, the Fire King build gets hurt way more by, like, a Harpy's Feather Duster onto the back row. Uh, especially if, like, if they got rid of Sanctuary or, like, you know, Game 2, we forced them to go first, they side out Sanctuary. Uh, so stuff like Harpy's Lightning Storm become infinitely better. But, yeah, that is going to be it for the matches. About 42 minutes long. I'll try to get other matches of, like, the going second... Well, not going second build, but the uh, no hand trap build, uh, hand trapless build. I'll try to I'll try to get more matches of this soon because this build has been popping off. But like, look at that! They got to use all three of the charmers in their extra deck. Well, you know, most likely all three of the charmers in their extra deck. There's no way they play another one. But with all that being said, the DB grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.